What's up, guys? I'm Youngster Skamor, and I am back with part 10 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Now, uh, last time we, uh, went to the temple, we, well, we already have the spirit of power and the spirit of wisdom, and the last time we went to the temple of the Ocean King to, uh, find the clue about where to get the last spirit, which is presumably going to be the spirit of courage, and then we will be able to locate the ghost ship, but, uh, Instead, we'll, we'll, I guess this is the clue, but what we found was, uh, if you look on the bottom of the map, or if you look on the bottom screen where the map is, you'll see that green mark uh, right over there that wasn't there before. That, um, yeah, it seemed like there's nothing there in the ocean, but now it seems like there's something there, so I guess we should go check that out because it's probably where we can get the Spirit of Courage, or I don't really know, but first let's just go to Beale's ship and uh, stock up on some supplies because, uh, uh, we're cool like that, and I don't think I've ever been to Beetle's ship in this, like, playthrough, and I want to show you guys Beetle's ship and, like, what it's like, and, like, what it's like. I don't know what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, this is Beetle... Oh, wait, am I going? Am I going to... Okay, good. Yeah, this is a Beetle's ship, and he sells stuff to you, so he's, like, an ocean shop, I guess. So, uh, let me find anything you need in Beetle's shop. I have one... Oh, I did already go to Beetle's shop then. I'm not sh sure. I don't know. This I already bought. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I already bought I thought the paper meant I already bought it, but I guess that's not the case. And um there's a crown. Bombs. Let's get oh, bomb bag. Uh you know what, we're fine, we don't need any of this stuff. Okay, so yeah, I guess we don't need that. But uh, I just wanted to check that out. I forgot, I guess I have already gone there during this playthrough, but I kinda forgot about that and I was probably talking too quiet earlier, so I'm gonna start to speak up a little bit. I don't know why I was being quiet. But I kind of forgot. I haven't made a video in a while, so I kind of forgot that being loud is required. Oh, shoot. I was not touching the screen. I was not paying attention at all. I was just uh, look, talking to you guys. But, uh, so let's go to where this green mark is. It looks like there's nothing here. So, uh, line back? Yeah, there's nothing here. Um, right here. Right there. So I guess there's nothing here, right? Cause it seems like there's something here, but it doesn't, like, yeah, there we go. I knew he would, like, say something, and he didn't say it before. That's why I moved. But, uh, just a bunch of sea, yeah. At the bottom of the sea, okay. You can't swim. That's kind of sad. But I guess we need to go get that salvage arm that, uh, that, that, we got that. If you don't remember last episode, we got some, oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't talk today. I really just can't. But if you don't remember last episode, uh, Edo sent Edo's the guy who gave us the cannon, uh, and he sent us this letter saying that he had this new ship part called the Salvage Arm, which meant you could like grab stuff from the bottom of the sea, which uh, we're probably gonna need to do, I guess, because Lineback skip skip please said Lineback specifically said that it might be at the bottom of the sea, so that's video game uh, terms for it's definitely at the bottom of the sea. So let's go talk to Edo, and hopefully we don't have to go all around the back again. I don't think we will. But, yo, Edo. The salvage arm. Uh, eh, I don't know. Shout with gusto, man. Oh, great. Now I have to shout into the mic. Ready? Alright. Ah! Oh, oops. <laughs> what? No way. Horrible. Here, let me try screaming louder. Yes, okay. Okay, I'm screaming. Ready? Alright. No! Darn it, it's still 200 rupees. That sucks. Darn it, man. $200 is a lot. 200 rupees, whatever, is a lot. That's a lot of money. But whatever, I guess we uh, can't really do anything about that because we do need that salvage arm. So, without any further ado, as I say too much in these videos, let's, uh... Why does that guy have a bear on his shirt? See, right? Th right? Th nope, not in his crotch. Not there, right? There, right? There. No. No, right there. Right there. Yeah, there, there. He has a bear on his shirt. It looks like looking out of his overalls. 
I haven't, sorry, I haven't really made a video in a while, guys. Well, I have, but not a Zelda video. So, like, I made the last one in the, in the series, like, a week ago. So, I'm kind of rusty. I'm rusty, guys. I don't really know what I'm saying. So, let's go back to where that crest was and, uh, use the salvage arm and see what we find. Alright, right. Right here. That should be good. That should definitely be solid. I like how Link, you can see him, like, standing on the ship, like, right there. Just standing there. Somehow navigating the ship, even though he has no way of uh, communicating with Linebeck. Except by speech, and Link clearly can't talk. Like, he's made that clear over the course of many games. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Why is the ocean a bunch of, like, weird shapes in the water? Like, the water is just, like, a bunch of octagons. Poorly drawn octagons. Right here! Salvage arm. Use this. Okay, I'll tell you how to use the salvage arm. All kinds of treasure rest at the bottom of the sea. Use the salvage arm to pull that treasure up. See the bar controlling the arm at the bottom of the screen? Tap and drag this left to right to move the arm underwater. Move it up or down to adjust how fast the arm moves. But there are octo mines down there that will explode if you touch them for some reason. They're there. I, I don't know why they're there. But uh, it takes a steady hand to move the arm carefully and steer clear of them. Why are they called octo mines? Like, does there eight of them? Because that's not octo. Like, I guess they like, correlate octo with ocean. But let's get this rupee. So far, I counted four. There's five. No, I'm not sure if that's an octo mine. I'm not. I don't think that's an octo mine or whatever they were called. That's an octo mine. Now there's eight. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe there's actually eight. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Oh yeah, there is eight. Okay. Go left. Catch. Oh, to bring it back up now. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, wait for that thing to go. Okay, good. Faster, faster, with blinding speed. Go faster. Okay, just get to the top. Okay, looks like we're there. I see the octagons. And there's our boat. So this treasure is like half the size of our boat, according to... The, whoa, this treasure is. This treasure is pretty big. I wonder if it's the spirit of courage. It's probably just like the... Maybe it's the sun key. You got the sun key. This key is the same shape as a crest that you saw. Hey, strange looking key you got there. It's shaped like the sun, but what's that supposed to mean, kid? Alright, now we have to... Uh, do we seriously have to go back? Rage! Okay, hold up. Stop it right there. Uh, suit bird, go away. I'm trying to talk to the people. Okay, stop it right there. Okay, I just, oh my gosh. Okay, we just got the sun cue, right? Some of you may know where we have to go next. Some of you may not. And why do these dudes bird fishes keep coming? And what is that ship over there? I have no idea. But anyway, I don't really care because, oh my gosh. Okay, we just got the sun key, right? Some of you may know where we're supposed to go next. Some of you, like me, may not. Go away, I'm trying to talk. Okay, so... As some of you may remember, on a Molita Island, which is right, like, which is, uh, not Molita Island, uh, yes, Molita Island, which is right down there, uh, there is a door that has a picture of a sun on it, and there is, like, we can, uh, what can we do there? Yeah, that's probably where the sun key opens the door to, but I thought that where the place where we, uh, I thought that the sun thing, the Temple of the Ocean King, the place that had the sun on it, was the, the door, that I thought we had to go further into that temple, so I went all the way back, kept, continued that video for 20 more minutes, and did the exact same thing as we did last episode to get back down there, only to find out that that wasn't where we're supposed to go. So I got pretty angry, and you, I, now I'm upset, because I just wasted 30 minutes of my life. But And I'm going to have to edit this, because I don't know how to edit. I, I think I know how to edit, because I don't know how to edit. If you're watching this and it's all screwed up, that's why. But anyway, so now we got to go down to Molita Island, because we finally got the sun key, and then we did some other stupid stuff for 30 minutes. And I'm not going to post that video because why would I post that video? I mean, I don't know. That would be stupid because, like, we already did that stuff. Like, uh... Go away, bird. I don't even know if those are going to attack you. But, like, we already did, uh... Okay, we already went to, like... 
I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, we already did the Temple of the Ocean King, and I did it again because I'm stupid. That's basically what I'm trying to say. This line is not straight enough. Stop. Why won't it go? What the heck is wrong with this? Go away! There we go. That's, that's a little bit better, I guess. Alright, sorry if you're eating, because I'm hungry, but... Probably shouldn't eat during these, but... I was supposed to be done, like, t ten minutes ago, but now I'm not. Because, uh, I messed up. Did the wrong stuff. I didn't do what I was supposed to do, so... Ow! I guess they can attack me. Okay. Well, that sucks. That's stupid. I was touching them, like, exactly where they were. What is this thing? Go away! I'm tapping you! I'm, like, tapping you for a reason, man. I don't see anything. Oh god, there's something. It went away again. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. Killed it, yes. Alright, so here we are to Melita Island. For like the second time. Let's see what we can find here. What the heck? Okay, what is that thing? Yo! What the heck? Why is this here? Uh. Alright, so let's set a route like. Let's work, touchscreen, darn it. It's like this. Back and forth, and back and forth. And back and forth, 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 and back and forth. Okay, I'll change that if I need to, but for now, I guess that's good. So let's just keep shooting this thing for till it dies. I'm assuming it's weak spot is his eye, just as a. I mean, this is a Zelda game after all. Die, foul beast! I'm not even hitting it. I think I'm too far. Oh, I got it actually. Never mind. I was about to say I think I'm too far away. But I just hit it once, so I can't be too far away. My route must be fine. Right, let's avoid this attack real quick. Because I do not want to be hit by that green slime or whatever that is. Hiya! Take that, jerk. I mean, it's kind of obvious what weak spot it is. But even if you didn't know, I mean, I'm sure you'd hit its eye eventually. It's pretty small. And most of its body's in the water, so. Oh, why did you stop? Oh, shoot. Die! Just die already, you piece of poop. Okay, dude. D oh, I hit one of its things. That was cool. Hiya! Is he dead yet? How much hearts does this guy have? Hit him four times already. Is five the lucky number? Who thinks five is the lucky number? Anybody? And I'm pretty sure I've had my capture card thing over the screen like this whole time, so sorry about that. I'll move that out of the way. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but if you did... Whatever, but if not, then whatever, but we killed that guy, that's that's for sure. So now let's go to Melita Island, because that was that was weird. I don't know what that was about. What did you do? All you did was drive. I'm sure that's not very hard. You didn't do anything to do with the monster. Alright, Melita Island. So as you can see the map is very messy. I don't really remember exactly why, but I think there's this thing over here. Oh, I even drew a sun on the map. Look at that. Look at that. I wish I drew that on the sea chart. I'm not even sure if you can draw stuff on the sea chart, but anyway, this hole seems to have magically disappeared, so let's dig it again. Oh, not that hole. Yeah, this hole? Yeah, there you go. That hole. That hole magically disappeared. I knew it was next to the tree, but uh, now let's go find the sun door, because we need that. Hiya! Alright, uh, sun door. There it is. Sun door. We have finally met after 20 minutes of searching the wrong way. Searching in the wrong place, I should say. Now, what lies over here? I guess we'll be able to go to that temple, which is probably based on what's happened so far in this game. The place where, we'll res where we will rescue that uh, third spirit, the, the spirit of courage. It still hasn't really explained why the spirits were captured, I don't think. Unless... They just say, like, oh, shoot, I thought he would just stop being electric. I didn't know they could jump. But did it ever say, like, why the, uh, thing stopped being electric? I mean, what am I saying? There's two? I didn't even see that one. Did it ever say? Okay, okay, okay. 
Did it ever? Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Did it ever say why the spirits were like in the temples? Okay, I'm out of hearts, dude. Stop. I'm actually out of hearts. Can I have hearts, please? Anybody? Is there anyone here kind enough to give me hearts? Cause I really need some really badly. Don't know what that's all about, but uh, okay. Why haven't I been using my boomerang? That's the question. Hearts, darn it. Hearts, hearts, darn it. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Only statues can urge the temple open. So focus their light gaze on it. What? I don't have a statue. What? Wait, what is he talking about? Nope. Bird. Dude, I'm gonna die. I need to save right here. Oh, shoot. I haven't saved. If I hadn't saved, then I would just like go back to where I uh, was, I guess. No! Oh, there's a statue. I found the statue, I think. But I need to get some hearts first, so... What are you?! Do you know how much hearts I have? Okay, okay, you guys can just leave me alone now. What? That's the... Nope, you're facing the wrong way. Hiya! Okay, sorry I'm just being a little static. I don't know why it's doing that, but... Turn. 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 Right there. Good. Perfect. Oh, okay. Now let's... Oh, get away from this bird. Let's save again. I don't know why I'm not getting any hearts. And I don't know why the music's getting staticky. Sorry about that. Uh, eh, get hearts. Ah! I got hit. Okay, I don't even think you can get hearts from trees. I don't know why I was trying that, but... Hiya! Nope! Darn it, you jerks. This is bad. This is actually really bad. We're gonna die. No! No, Link! Oh, yes, we got potion. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I had a red potion. Why didn't I use it? I forgot about that. I forgot that was a thing. I don't know what happens if you die. Oh, I came from behind, even if I already did that. Okay, so hiya. Okay, kill those guys. I should have definitely used that red potion. Don't know why I didn't. And there's another statue, so I guess we gotta put that thing on. The wait, wait. Hiya. I guess we gotta put that thing on the door, too. Alright, so let's get behind this thing. Turn. There we go. It's probably one more statue to make it, like, symmetric. What the heck? Stop being staticky. Okay, I don't know what's doing this, guys, but uh, whatever. I have to. I should explain. This is a. This isn't the USB cord I usually use to record this stuff because I left that in my beach house, which I will get be able to get this weekend. So hopefully the quality will be a little bit better soon, like when I get that back, or I'll just look for a new one. But where is that new statue? Should be like, oh, I know where it is. Shoot, not to go all the way back there. Okay, I know, I think it's, it like, based on where the others are, it should be over to the left. But I have to go all the way around here to get to that. So let's go over here. Oh, I can't go there. What's the deal? Oh, shoot. It's over here. There it is. Found it. Found the last statue. Didn't notice it, though. I guess I have to go... No, I can't get to it. How do I... What the heck? Okay, so I can't get to it. How do I make it turn? Or maybe I just have to hit it with my boomerang. Because it looks like it's already facing the uh, temple. So I just gotta do this, maybe? Hey, off. I missed, okay. There we go. That should open the temple door, I think. There we go, guys. We did it. We did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Dora, 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 the explorer. Link, 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 it's rescue and tetra. All right, guys, so we just made it to the Temple of Courage. 
that. Wait, let me just get out of here. This temple, look at the top screen, man. Look at this temple layout. That looks confusing. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this episode was a pain in the butt for me to make because I did like 30 minutes of... What did I do that for? I did like stuff 30 minutes off screen that I wasn't even supposed to do. So screw the Temple of the Ocean King. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you coming and watching my videos. Um, please make sure to follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.